Isn't this like the perfect reason why being multiplanetary just makes a lot of sense? Sure. Like in any, like for example, would you get on an airplane if they said, hey, Joe, this is the best airplane in the world. It's the most incredible. It's the most luxurious. It has the best weather. You can surf. You can, but there's only one navigation system. And if it goes out, boop. <laughs> you never do that. Right. Would you ever get on that airplane? No. 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 So, you know, I think we owe it to ourselves to have some redundancy. Yeah. But ultimately, I always wonder, you know, like the universe sort of has these patterns that force innovation and constantly move towards further and further complexity. And if you were going to have intelligent life that existed on a planet, what better incentive to get this intelligent life to spread to other parts of the planet than to make that planet volatile, make super volcanoes, earthquakes, solar flares, all sorts of different possibilities, asteroid impacts, all sorts of different possibilities that motivate this thing to spread. But to say, like, this is fragile yeah, and it's not forever, so create some redundancy. I mean, I was raised Buddhist. 